Hi everyone, tonight we're making inoculation lids for mushroom work. You'll need um, a syringe filter for free air exchange, the flow of uh, clean oxygen to the mycelium, and a self-healing injection port where you can put your syringe, um, your spore syringe or the liquid culture syringe with very little risk of contamination. So we'll, have you, we'll show you how to make those. So what you'll need are these mason jar canning jar lids. You'll take the lid and make two holes, one a little bit bigger, one a little bit smaller. You'll need a drill to make both of these holes. The bigger one is made with a quarter inch Forstner bit. This makes the hole for the self-healing injector port. These are 13 millimeters and come in a pack of 100 for $13, so come out to about 13 cents each. And these fit in there really well, I'll show you later, um, but you don't need to cement them in with any silicone or anything. The smaller hole is made with a 1364th metal drill bit. You can also use a brad point bit that has a little pointy thing like that. And that's usually for wood, but since it's such thin, flimsy metal, it's okay and it makes it a little bit easier. So the syringe filter goes in the smaller hole. This is 25 millimeters in diameter with a 0.22 porthole size. And you cement this into the smaller hole with high temperature silicone. Make sure it's high temperature because it's going into the, high, the pressure cooker at very high temperatures. A lot of people use this RTV gasket maker, but just make sure it's high temperature. This is $8 for the whole thing and can make probably a thousand lids so it's about one cent each these are a hundred for twenty four dollars so about twenty four cents each so the whole price of everything including the lids which come in a pack of twelve for five dollars is about eighty five cents a lid you'll also need a piece of wood to drill into to make sure you don't damage your table and we'll put a link in the description with all of these items uh, so you can buy them if you want to make your own lids. So now to make them, so just to make sure that they have a nice spacing and don't crowd each other and also are not too close to the sides, we have a prototype that we just used to make all of the new ones. So we put this over and then put them both on the wood. I'll start with the quarter end. So you can use fishing gloves that have a bit of a grip just to hold it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And you want to make them make sure they line up nicely. And then it's easier if you stand up and sort of have your strength pushing over. But you want to make sure you're in the middle. And then... a bit too long <laughs> but that makes the, the hole so you're gonna make sure to line them up change out the drill bit put the right one on top Line it up nicely. Again, standing up so you can put all of your strength down. Makes it easier. Yep, not too bad, not too long. So in this hole, the bigger one, goes the self-healing injector port, and it's a really tight fit, so it's a bit um, tricky to get in, and since these are so flimsy, you don't want to put too much pressure and warp the lid. You just want to slightly pull it, put it in and then pull on the sides.
And slowly like that you will get that in. Make a little bit more. And like that it's really well sealed in. And for the syringe filters, you can see there's two different size sides. There's one that's wider and shorter and one that's thinner and longer. The thin, thinner, longer side would be the side going into the hole on the inside of the lid and the shorter one with the 0.22 will be on the outside. So you put that in, but first you use the high temperature silicone to make a ring around it. It will be all covered up so it doesn't have to be pretty. And then you put that in to the hole. You make sure it goes down. And then you wait for this to dry. Should be good the next day. So a note on the silicone, you, once you're done using it, you can just make a bead and that will dry. And the next time you use it, you can just flick it off instead of taking this whole thing off and putting the lid on because that way you're just losing all of this and it's just an easier way to deal with it. So these are our inoculation lids with the self-healing injector port and the syringe filters. Those two things really minimize contamination, which is why these are so great. And these are also great because you can use them throughout the mushroom growing process from your spore syringes directly to agar, to liquid culture, to um, your grain spawn. And if these things are confusing and you're just getting started in mycology, then make sure to follow our videos because we'll be taking you through the essential steps in the gro mushroom growing process in really easy, concise ways that really highlight um, cost efficiency and energy efficiency in the mushroom growing process. Um, so make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs>